today and we're out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina going to pull the four crab pots that we set out 24 hours ago. couple keepers we're looking for five inch point to point keepers and we definitely have a big keeper right here yeah, it's a big girl there yeah today we'll go ahead and we'll just dump the crabs out and we'll drop the crab pot right back in the water our bait looks fine sometimes the crab bait actually does better on the second day Brought a little cooler along with us for the ride. Our gauge, an insulated glove to help handle the crabs. And there we go. You can see that crab right there is probably about a seven inch point to point big female. With the winter conditions, uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep her because we're probably gonna run a little slack on the keeper crabs. If we get too many, we'll let her go. He's not making it. Four, seven, eight. Small guy. Little one. This one's close. Still not a keeper. Four, seven, eight. One in the first pot. One keeper that is. Our second pot is coming up right here. So the crabbing ain't looking real good in our area right now, but I'm thinking it's going to get really good by summertime, warmer weather. We're waiting on these crabs to grow up. Have a, have a couple keepers here. That's a nice one. Inside the trap there, guys. This trap right here is baited with spot tail bass carcass. And typically we like using stuff like that in our traps because we catch it in this area and everything's like a big circle. Why not reuse what you already have? Little one that got out. Here. That would hurt. It's a little immature female. See the triangular apron right here at my middle finger. Coming back against this wind right now. Trying to get back in position where we had the crab pot before we drop it back in and let it soak again. Oh, there looks like a few keepers in there maybe. All three of those look like big keepers. This is a big guy here. Five and a half incher. That's a big one. Six incher. Five and eight. Look at there, guys. Not a real big crab, but this time of the year, just to get the keeper, we're happy with that. He's got the size of his clothes. Give him a little tap. Small guys. Here we go. Looks like a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he barely made it. Barely. He's touching. Barely touching the inside of my gauge, which is five inches. And that's what they have to be in South Carolina. Oh well, what they call a red liner. And this is what in our area they call a peeler crab. It's a small female and it's about to molt. So this little small females in this area, they lure them into the crab trap. Sometimes the commercial crabbers just by taking 
one of the big uh, males and put him in the bait compartment instead of using, you know, the regular bait. That way, these little females, they're, they're looking to breed with a big male. So that's what they go in the trap after, actually, is the big male that's in the bait compartment. They're not really looking for food. They're just looking for that uh, big crab to mate with. This little crab right here probably will be molded in the next couple of days, and that's what the crabbers would look for. You know, to sell to somebody who ha has holding tanks that can put these in them until it sheds and becomes a delicacy for you guys out there. The soft shell crab. These two pots right here, we set out on a pretty good sized river. And we got a little ways to go back around here to a river that we call some stone crab and stuff in the past. we got so far? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at that big spider crab. You can tell that spider crab's got that little piece of sponge growing on it. And they'll use that as camouflage to help hide them. And the spider crab. It's really about harmless. He's got little tiny claws on him. You can see them. He barely can grab a hold to you. Look at that sponge. Let's take it's a look like at the crown. underside. So, let's get this little guy back in the water. Ain't she pretty? She's a keeper size. A little undersized. She looks like an immature female. He's a good big boy. You guys, got these little periwinkle snails moving along so slow. Of course, these are alive and will go back in the water, but they love that crab bait too. Last pot coming up, and we are in South Carolina, so we have a yellow crab pot buoy, marks our recreational pots, and we're allowed two per person with each fishing license. Ooh, I hope it is heavy. Oh, that's wow. why it feels heavy. Take a look at that. Sponges. Lots of that live sponge down on our bottom. Our seaweed. Like a little fella. So we know we had at least one more keeper in here. I'm pretty sure of that. Here we go. Come here, little crab. Too small. He's a small guy. There's a keeper. missing it guys. Not a key. How about this one? No. Again, not a keeper. So we added one more crab to the cooler. Yeah. 
that's going to be it right there. There's three, six, seven, eight keeper crabs out of four crab pots. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give us a like on it if you did, or if you just want to come along on some more videos with us, even if you didn't like this one. If you didn't <laughs> like it, hit that thumbs down two times so I really know that you didn't like it. Till next time, guys, you take care and we'll see you. Thanks for watching. Look what we found in the boat. We're cleaning it out, getting all those little snails out. There's a little tiny spider crab, like the big one. Look, he's covered all in that stuff too, camouflaged. I'm gonna put him back in the water. Y'all have a great one. Bye, little fella. <laughs>